adding and managing devices in Genentech Clearance. In the Genentech Clearance system, users can upload media from body wearable cameras or other devices. To manage access to these devices, you can define security policies and add existing users or groups to the security policy. Before you can define security policies for a device, the users or groups that you want to add to the security policy must exist on the service. To set up who can manage devices on your system, first click on the Configurations section, then go to the Security Policies tab. Scroll down to the bottom where you'll find the Manage Devices section. Click on the plus icon to add existing users or user groups to the list, or to create a new user group to add to the list. Any user who is a member of a group added to this section will have the permission to manage devices. Permission levels do not apply to this section. If a user is in the list, they will be able to fully manage any devices on the service. To remove a member of the list, just click on the X in the Remove column next to the user or group. Let's move on to see how you can add your devices to the service. You can add devices in the Genentech Clearance system by connecting through the Genentech Clearance Uploader application. To add a device in the system, you must dock the device. Before adding a device, make sure you have an active internet connection, are a member of the Managed Devices Security Policy list, and have the Genetech Clearance Uploader application installed and associated with an account. The first time that you dock a new device, the device is automatically detected and added to the system. To see your devices, click on the Configuration section, then on the Devices tab. If your device is not visible in clearance after docking, make sure the Uploader application is installed and running on the machine your dock is connected to and is configured to use your account. The device will show up in a new state and will have the serial number and other information available. The next step is to activate the device license for this device. This allows the device to be assigned to one or more users. Device activation is only possible for units that have been recognized by the service. From the Devices tab of the Configurations page, you can see how many device licenses have been activated out of the total number available. In our example, we have one device activated out of a possible 15 licenses. To activate the device, click on it from the list below to edit the device details, then click on the Activate License button on the top right. You can also modify the name of the device using the pencil icon next to the name if needed. None of the general information fields can be modified from here. Once the device has been activated, which can be verified by checking the number of activated licenses on the top of the page, you can assign the device to specific users. You can assign a device to one or more users so that all media recorded using the assigned device is tagged and searchable. You can then search for evidence by device assignment to find all media recorded by users that are associated with the device. There is a limit of 10 users that can be assigned to a device. The device assignment information is viewable from the device details section of a file and a list of devices assigned to a user can be seen by editing the user from the Configurations section. You can assign a device to a user directly from here if needed by clicking on the plus icon in the Devices list and choosing the appropriate activated device. Devices can be removed from a user by clicking on the X next to the device name. To assign a user to a device, click on the device to edit it from the Devices tab in the Configurations page, then click on the plus icon in the Assign To section. Search for or select one or more users, then click on the Add button to update the list. To remove a user, click on the X next to their name in the Assign To list. The last device management function you'll need to know concerns deactivating device licenses. You can deactivate a device license to remove the device from use, to assign the license to a new device, or when a device breaks and requires servicing or replacement. Deactivating a license automatically removes assigned users from the device. 
You must be a member of the Managed Devices Security Policy list to deactivate a device license. From the Configuration section, go to the Devices tab. Click on the device you wish to deactivate to edit the device details. Click on the Deactivate License button on top, next to the number of activated licenses. You will be warned that the users will be unassigned from the device, and you can click on the Deactivate License button to continue. Note the number of activated devices. If the operation is successful, you will see this number drop by 1, allowing the license to be used on another device on the system.